Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I wanted to make this video for Carlos and Henry. They had some questions and instead of making or just responding to them and making one video for them, decided to make this for everyone that wanted to kind of look at the bot and the status and how everything is going. So this example is going to be on Shiba Inu bot. So people were asking how passive are bots? You know, are bots really that passive? I can tell you, for me, I would say no, it's not 100% passive, but it's very passive because while I'm sleeping, I'm making money when the bot fires. Okay, and I'm going to show you the stats from my phone. I'm going to show you the profits. I'm going to show you today's profits. Okay, and I'm going to tell you the risks of running bots and how I manage it. Okay, so this is for Henry. Henry and I know you and I spoke today. And both Henry and I work, uh, we, we both have our own businesses, right? So we're both in the service industry. So we're focused more on our business. Okay. So when we talk about passive income, we don't really want to manage scout trading so much where we have to sit down in front of a computer, look at charts, look at trading view, do trend lines, do patterns, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to tell you how passive it is and how I do it from my mobile phone. Because like I said, Henry and I are both in the service business. We're out on the road a lot, or we're not always at the PC and at my desk. So. I'm going to show you trading view on how I manage through my phone and then what other apps I use to kind of turn off and off my bot so it's as passive as can be. So here on my phone is the three commas app. Okay, you come over here, you click on bots. And when you click on bots, you can see all of the bots that I have, the active deals that are running. So when I click on my deals, I can look at a list of all the bots that ran today. This is ever since uh, from midnight. Okay, so I went to bed 11 p.m. at midnight. These are all running. So this is the completed daily active deals that are actually running while I'm sleeping and while I'm at work or while I'm doing uh, business stuff. Okay, so look, I'll scroll all the way to the top, and you'll see today is uh, September 12th. Look, so you can see $300 base order. The size of the order is $300. It started at 12 at 1 16 p.m. It closed three hours later. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Uh, you can see I've, I'm running dot $250 base order with a safety safety order um, and it closed at four. Okay, so you guys are probably looking at uh, how much did I make on the SHIB? Okay, so on sh SHIB, uh, my my base order size was only $150. Okay, and you know, I took profit at, at 0.7% and I made 82 cents on that. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, well, you know, that's a little small, but if you have SHIB, because I was telling Henry, basically, if you have, because SHIB is a coin that's on, on every exchange. It's on Qcoin. You can see that right now it's on SHIB Qcoin, September 12th. It's on Coinbase. It's on Binance. It's, it's on every exchange. So if you know that SHIB moves up and down very well, especially in a, in a trending market in an uphill, you're going to have pullbacks. Uh, let me go to trading view. So it kind of makes more sense. So look, when you're working with the bots, you kind of look for pairs that work well for you, that are not too aggressive, that are a little bit more conservative, so you're not losing, okay? So look, if, if you have a, a coin that, an altcoin that is ranging very well, you have an uptrend like this that is going up or ranging, that's great because you're getting these swings where the bot is going to go long. And when I talk about bot, so this is for Carlos. It's not a scalp trading bot. The reason why I call it scalp bot is because I like to trade my bot on a lower level time frame on the five minute scalp. Okay. So meaning over here, I program my bot on the five minute um, close. Each candle is a five minute close. So basically it fires based on my indicators that I use. Now, when I talk about bots, how easy is it to set up? All you need to do is send me your 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 trading view. For those of you who are in my private group, all you have to do is send me your username for your trading view account. I enable my indicator. You upload your indicator here. You, you come over here to favorites or my scripts, my favorites, and you look for the Shib Shib Inu bot. Okay, where is it? Right here. So Shiba Inu bot. I enable it here. You can see it right here. Uh, I could, you could turn it off. And you just add it to your chart. Then you go to three commas and you create a custom deal start condition to fire every time my script tells it to go long or short. And you can see here, you know, over here we take profit. And I know it's it's only a small percentage, but if you multiply that by five exchanges, 
and you up your ante or your capital from 100 to 500, think about how much you can make, right? You know, financial advice, but, you know, you just do the math. The main thing is you want to make sure that the bot is firing uh, safely and not too aggressive where you're not losing, right? Like we could have went long here, but you would have taken a risk because let's say the candle didn't close. And it's not that you didn't, you're not going to get stop because usually when you're running bots you run safety orders you don't run stop losses but let's say it didn't feel here then you have a down leg where you might have lost so that's why this bot is it's pretty good it, it was based on the v-chain bot because you guys know that it, I, I started with the v-chain bot because i trade v-chain a lot so i modified the script for shiba inu and now it's um it fires like here's another one here's my more aggressive version of the bot for shiba if you come over here look we take more longs, but we take more risks. But you can see that because Shib Inu is a great coin to trade using a bot, um, it actually fills. Like here, it might have, it probably filled over here. So if you look at the Shib Inu, you know, that would have filled in, in nine hours, but at least it filled. Okay. So here we took profit. Here's a nice one that we took profit. And this is really up to you. Like how much risk you want to take. For me, like I said, I take 0.5 to 1% of take profit. If I'm using a leverage coin, I might go higher, like a 1, 1.5%. But the main thing is to have multiple coins on multiple exchanges where it's firing. If you know and you like DOT, and if you don't mind keeping DOT in case you, you get positioned out, that's okay because you believe in DOT long term. So your bot's going to fire on, let's say, seven exchanges for Polkadot, and you continue to make that money because every exchange has different volumes, so they might kind of range up and down a little more. So that's the way you have to play, or that's the way I, I play it. So come over here, we take profit. Uh, we take profit here. So anyways, how passive is it? So all you have to do, you have two apps, okay? You've got, you've got the one called Three Commas, which is the Three Commas app that you could download, and you look at all your bots here, okay? So, so the second app that I have on my phone is TradingView. Okay. Now, how passive is it? The way I, I, I look at it is you can set up a, an EMA. So it's an exponential moving average that just draws a simple line that shows a trend. EMA is just, it's an exp exponential moving average and it kind of just shows you the trend of the market. If you're using the, I like to use the 200 EMA and the 9 EMA. If price is above one of those levels and clearly you can see that on this chart when i wake up in the morning i i could see the chart that word hey we are in an uptrend right so most likely we are going to go long so i come over back to three commas and if we're in a long position i would look at all my long coins and turn them on just with one click like this you just kind of go like this click on that and that's it and you're done for the day well you could, you could kind of watch it, but you could see command, stop, received, etc. Then I'm just going to start it. And that's how passive it is. And if you don't know how to run an EMA or put on EMA, all you do is come over to indicators. You come over to search and you could do, you could search for exponential moving average. Exp moving average, exponential, right? So you click it once and it's going to pop up over on the left-hand side here. You go to settings. And you could change this to 200, 200 EMA. You could go to the style, set it to blue, make a thick line, and click OK. And then you can see, based on the trend, are we trending or are we just ranging? Right now, you can see that we're ranging, okay? But if you come over here, right here, you can look at the exponential moving average here. You can clearly see that we're in an uptrend. So if you see this and you wake up in the morning and you're in this area, we are going up. So I might want to go long on all my positions and just turn off all the bots that say short. Okay, so depending on how you name your bots. And that's how passive is. That's how I do it. People have different strategies. But like I said, I don't like to run too aggressive bots. I'd rather run a conservative bot, tweak the settings, and run them on multiple pairs, multiple exchanges, etc. And up the capital on them. So that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave some comments below and I'll see you in the next video.